What's up guys, we're at Pickwick Lake. I'm at the boat. I'm gonna pick up my board so I can take it home, put the mount on the bottom of it, and get the hydrofoil mounted. So I'm just gonna hop up in here, undo these, and grab that board and check on the inside of the boat. Loaded up, ready to go. So we're back at the shop. I had to run to the lake, that's where I had all the supplies. And this right here is the foil mount that's going to go under my board. So it's just got this 3M adhesive on the back, and this is all carbon fiber right there. And so these are those slots that this um, mast base is going to go. And it looks like it's gonna line up just fine. See the holes through there? And that gives me about like two, three inches to adjust it forward and back on the board depending on how I mount it. So this sticks directly to the bottom of my board right here. So here is the top of the board. So that's obviously the rear. Um, that fin is gonna come out and then this is gonna mount pretty much just like that. And then this will mount on there with the hydrofoil, the front wing right here. So <clears throat> let me move this out of the way. This piece comes with this hardware. The company that makes this is called, let's see, I don't know what exactly it's called. I think it's just called um, foil mount. That right there, foil mount. You can Google foil mount. Wizard hat hardware, and that's what they call this. Uh, this is like, I guess, their patented technology to mount these foils. So this is a little sliding track. It goes into here and then slides into place. And this little nut comes off and so if i was going to mount this on here i would have this on the board slide it in place set that where it's going to go and then this little nut has got a chamfered edge on there and i would just go and tighten that in place and then there you go and then you can slide it forward and back depending on how you want it mounted how you want to distribute your weight on the board so I'm going to get, I have some um, adhesive promoters, just some 3M adhesive promoters. So I'm going to prep the board, rub the promoter on there, mark out how I want to lay this out, stick it down, and I think they say to put some weight on it uh, for 24 hours before you can mount anything to it, which I'm not worried about that because we're not going to be trying this out until the fiberglass is done. But anyway, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, I got that on pretty straight. Didn't take any measurements. I just kind of eyeballed it. It's pretty straight on here. And now I'm gonna set a piece of wood on it and probably drop some of those weights on it and put as much weight as I can on it for the next 24 hours so that this can fully adhere to the board. But first I'm gonna do a little test fit now that I got this base mount 
glued to the hydrofoil. I'm gonna mock it all up and see how it looks. And there we go, nice and mounted on the board. Look at that. Everything's black and white, matches pretty nice. And obviously this can be shifted either forward or back depending on how it works or how it even functions in the water. But yeah, that's it for part two, guys. Um, if you know anything or you have any tips and tricks about fiberglassing PLA prints, please leave them in the comments below. Um, I really don't want to mess this thing up. I don't think I will. I've done enough research. I'm not worried about the epoxies and anything um, messing it up. But if you've done this before, please let me know. Give me some tricks so I don't ruin it. And I'll see you all for part three.